So he's talking about designed rushes, and I think that's a critical distinction. A lot of quarterbacks will tuck it and run. They're calling running plays. In each of the last two years, he has set the highest mark for designated rushes by a quarterback in a single season. Take a look at those numbers. The previous two coming from Cam, one of them was an MVP season. But these are huge numbers, and that doesn't take into account the instances where he doesn't have a receiver down the field, tucks it, and runs. Marcus Spears joins the conversation this morning along with Greg and Jeff. And Swagu, I will come to you because I've heard people ask this question. I'll ask it to you. Should the Ravens call fewer running plays for their quarterback? Yes, G, absolutely. They should. Uh, you know, you go through weeks of getting prepared for games and you you create, obviously, your game plan and you figure out um, what's, what's best to take advantage of a defense. And I know as a defensive guy, speaking from if I'm facing a week with Lamar Jackson, the Ravens don't want to take away the idea that these design runs and run plays will be pulled out of, of what they are doing offensively because it gives defensive coordinators and defensive players nightmares when you're trying to get prepared for that week. But obviously you want to protect him. You don't want him in harm's way as much as possible. And you want him to throw from the pocket. Lamar is a good quarterback, though. Like, we talk about the running aspect of the game. And Greg Roman obviously knows he's, he has an elite skill set as far as getting out and making plays with his legs. But for the most part, as an OC and as a team, you want Lamar healthy. And possibly the healthiest is standing in the pocket and not creating those design runs. Jeff, what do you think? Couldn't disagree more with Swagoo. Man, like you want his, 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 the best part of his game is you have no idea which way he's going to score on you. Is he going to take it 75 yards running it? Is he going to throw it with play action over the top of you and let one of his big tight ends or receivers go make a play? Is he going to turn it? That, that's what makes him so exceptional is he can do it all. There's no one in the game that's like him. And it is very difficult to prepare for a guy like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a guy mediocre so we're better in five years. I don't care about five years. I want to win now. You have the team to win now. Lamar Jackson gives you the best chance to win by not limiting what you're asking him to do. Let that man go. That man scares everybody, right? Like, you literally turn the TV on just to watch him as a player because he can do it all. We haven't seen a guy be able to do it like this. I do not want to hinder him even in the slightest. Marcus. Jeff Saturday, you playing center and Peyton Manning, your quarterback, and he take off and run and get his head knocked in. <laughs> what are you going to tell Peyton if he gets up off the floor? You gonna tell him, hey man, stay back here, let us protect you. I get all of that what you're saying. I 100 percent understand where you're coming from. But you know it's a ticking time clock on quarterbacks that's getting out there in them secondaries against them linebackers. Matter of fact, they got a guy that's second on their roster right now in Robert Griffin the third, who Haloti Nada almost ended his career based on and run because they wanted to do that in Washington. Look, I'm not saying you don't run Lamar Jackson. That is not my point. My point is you want Lamar Jackson to operate more from the pocket where he's more protected, handing that thing off to Ingram and J.K. Dobbins, who's back there now, as opposed to creating these design runs as much as you did last year. Because every team in the league is going to be trying to stop Lamar Jackson from running. And you know what that's going to mean? We going to take our shots and getting Lamar Jackson on the ground. That's my point. So keep the design runs. Keep doing all of that. Just make sure you don't do them too much, because if you lose him, you ain't got to worry about the next five years. You got to worry about a job. I, I, will, I will also make the point that watching Peyton Manning take off and run and watching Lamar Jackson <laughs> exactly. take off and run might be the two most different experiences a football <laughs> fan has the ever had. The value. But I the understood. Value. I the under analogy is the value to the team. I, the I, analogy is the value to the team. We all understood, and yet it was still funny. Uh, Greg McElroy, yeah. your thoughts. Stop, G. <laughs> if you take away Lamar Jackson's ability to run, then he becomes just like every other average quarterback in the league. What makes him so unique and what makes him so remarkably special is that every time, Spears, he takes off, you lose another hair. Or your hair turns gray if you're a defensive coordinator, whatever it may be, because the guy cannot be simulated. Who are you going to put at quarterback and scout team in the, weeks leading, in the week leading up to the game against the Ravens? Who are you going to put back there? Because no one can do it like Lamar. He is unique 
to the quarterback position with what he can create with his legs. Will the time come when he's a more development, uh, de- uh, more of a developed, polished passer? Sure. I really believe that day is coming, but that day is not today because right now, historically speaking, Spears, every time a play involves Lamar Jackson, they average seven and a half yards, whether it's through the air or on the ground. And for historical perspective, that's that's more than the greatest show on turf, which is most known as the best offense of all time. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.